Hey folks, it's insemination day. I'm laying here waiting to get my uh, acupuncture. She's gonna come in at any minute and uh, stick needles in me. I'll see if uh, I can get you some images with all the needles in my face and whatnot, um, just to give you the acupuncture experience. But um, today I'm gonna walk you through the life of my insemination, so first stop is acupuncture Woo oh here's a funny thing I think I ovulated already um, because I woke up in the middle of the night extra extra uncomfortable and then um, by the time I got up this morning I wasn't as uncomfortable anymore so I feel like I ovulated some time between 1 and maybe 7 or maybe later this morning I'm not sure so um, here's hoping that I didn't miss my window and that this and I know the egg will live for about 24 hours so I'll definitely be under that um, I'm just hoping I can make it under the 12 hour mark right so um, when you see me again I'm gonna have needles in my face all right <laughs> I'm gonna have my phone now <laughs> when the doctor comes in talk to you guys in a minute hey folks she came and put all the needles in my head. Can you see? I got one in my forehead. She didn't put one in the top of my head like she usually does. But I got them in my hands. <laughs> She's going to come back in here with a heat lamp. A little later. Can you see this? Yep. I got a few in the belly too. I don't know. I got two. Some a little lower. There's one. There's another. There's another. There's my scar from my fibroid surgery. I've got some in my legs too, but she's got my feet covered. So. <sighs> I'll tell you, around this emanation day, you really feel like a pincushion because so many needles. <laughs> but, I mean... I'm used to it. So I'll get poked today, right now. Then I'll go for my insemination. That'll be the next stop. That's a little later today. And then I'll come back here. So I'm gonna try to relax, <laughs> cover my eyes again, and then um, I'll, uh, oh, the bed's warming too. So it's got the heat on the bed going. But, um, um, I'll holler at y'all again, uh, when I'm at my insemination. All right. See you in a few. So, okay. So I'm back from acupuncture. I'm trying to get a little lunch in. And, um, then I'm going to relax a little bit. I'm feeling kind of, like, achy, bloaty, ugh, in the stomach. Um... I had a little bit of extra pain um, after breakfast. I think I might have drank too much water. So the water sitting on my uterus is kind of making it a little achy this morning. But I got up this morning. I got a 20 minute walk plus a warm up and a cool down. And um, so that's 30 minutes of walking. Um, I went to, uh, I ate breakfast. I took all my vitamins. I ate, I um, went to acupuncture, and now it is lunchtime. I've got an hour or two. I forget what time is it. It's about 1.30, so an hour and a half, I'll have my insemination. Um, a little bit more, because I can't remember if I talked about it, because it was trying to be really quick in the acupuncture. But um, um, I triggered last night at 6 p.m. and um, when I went to um, the office yesterday I had a 26 millimeter follicle and a 17 millimeter follicle I believe so um, I triggered last night well he gave me Minipure um, in the office and then I triggered with the overdrill last night so I fell asleep probably I think definitely before midnight and then I woke up probably like one somewhere between 1 and one thirty this morning 
like totally achy. It was very similar to um, the discomfort that I felt in my first IUI, um, but it was after the IUI. So I'm attributing all that discomfort in my pelvis area to ovulation, which means um, I honestly feel like I ovulated some time this morning. Um, early morning. I don't know what time I actually got to sleep. But it, it was very hard to get to sleep, um, tossing and turning um, with all the, oh, there goes my lunch, <laughs> with all the uh, discomfort that I was feeling. But um, I slept through my first alarm uh, towards the end of the alarm about 6.45 this morning when I woke up. I didn't have all that discomfort. So that made me feel like um, maybe I had ovulated between, um, that time. So probably like t somewhere between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. or something like that. Um, I feel like I ovulated. I don't know. Um, I did still have some pains after, um, like some sharp pains, which could have been the actual ovulation. I don't know if all that achy feeling is the preparation, uh, right before ovulation, but... I didn't have, I don't have very much um, cervical mucus. I definitely don't have any egg white uh, CM. So my acupuncture is concerned about that. Um, I think thanks to, now I, now I will say this, um, before I went to my day 12 appointment, I did an OPK. I was low um, on the OPK. And um, so that was yesterday morning. So I was definitely not anywhere near a surge um, as of yesterday morning. That actually makes sense because my natural ovulation isn't until cycle day 18, um, somewhere along that line. Um, yesterday was really only cycle day 13. So no reason for my body to be trying to ovulate. So I figured the ovula ovulation would definitely be triggered by um, the overdrill. <laughs> what I wasn't um, expecting was to have such a large uh, follicle. So with a 26 millimeter follicle, I think that follicle was just ready to go. So when I triggered, I think it went about six hours or so and it was just like hey i'm ready <laughs> let's ovulate but what's funny is that achiness is across my entire pelvic region not just um on one side so um i don't know this is also new to me i don't know i'm not familiar with um ovulation pain but um according to my acupuncturist that's what it feels like that that achiness that heavy um, bloaty achiness that I was feeling. So, um, she said, asked me if I, if I used a, uh, heating pad. I, I didn't. I was just trying to get to sleep at that point. Um, I wasn't even thinking about a heating pad. I just wanted to find a comfortable position to lay in so that I could get some sleep because I needed to get up early. Um, so I could get a walk in and then, uh, get a little bit of work done <laughs> before having to leave here to go to the Accu appointment at 11 this morning. So I was trying to focus on sleep. I guess if I have to go through this again, I'll definitely uh, reach for the, uh, the heating pad, which is on the bed anyway. Um, so uh, that's what's going on there. That's just some, some extra information on, on um, how my evening went. So I didn't really sleep well. I will say um, in Accu today, I found it very hard to relax. I don't know if it's excitement. I don't know if it's just, um, I got a lot on my mind. Um, but I was finding it like my mind was just restless. And so, um, I think towards the end, I did eventually get to nap a little bit. Um, but I don't think I was in any deep sleep or anything. I don't feel stressed. Um, you know, I feel actually pretty carefree today. Um, considering that I'm, I'm don't have to be anywhere like first thing in the morning. So, um, that works for me. But, um, other than that, you know, I feel pretty good. And, um, aside from all that discomfort, I, I still feel like bloaty, achy. But, um, in my first IUI process, 
I went through that and that's exactly how I felt after. Still bloaty, achy. But <clears throat> I still don't have like the cervical mucus, which is a concern. So what she suggested, my acupuncturist, um, is that I try to stimulate some oxytocin um, before my insemination. So either through um, some kind of stimulation, which she suggested like nipple stimulation or whatever, or exercise. So I don't know that I necessarily want to sweat, um, but I got to figure out how to stimulate some oxytocin um, without contracting my uterus um, in the next hour and a half after lunch. So I'll figure out how I want to do that. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do some, some Google research and ways to stimulate oxytocin. But um, she wants me to sort of stimulate the oxytocin to generate more um, cervical mucus uh, to help, you know, trap things. Um, help things sort of move uh, easier so I don't know maybe I was a little dehydrated this morning which I was surprised um, I didn't have uh, uh, very much urine this morning despite all that I was drinking so um, I'm not sure if that's something to do I know when you're dehydrated your cervical mucus is kind of minimal <laughs> so um, uh, that probably has something to do with it. I don't know why I would be so dehydrated. But um, I guess with a swollen uterus, it pushes up on your bladder and um, you pee more. <laughs> but I don't know that that has anything to do with me being dehydrated a bit. So I, um, I had about four four cups out of liquid breakfast this morning. So um, those two cups of water, I usually follow that with some sort of like um, fiber bar and another two cups of water with that so I had about four cups of water so I certainly feel hydrated um I don't know I guess I just gotta drink more water maybe um what I'll do is uh get me some coconut water so there'll be some electrolytes in there um and drink that the rest of the day um I don't have any in the house I probably should have went to the store and got some but, um, yeah, so I guess that's where we are, and uh, I'm going to go get lunch before it gets cold, and I will see you guys again at the doctor's office when I'm getting ready for my IUI. All right. Okay. I am finally at the doctor's office awaiting my insemination. Apparently, I was about 15 minutes late for my appointment because somebody told me 3 o'clock and my appointment was really 2.45. Mm, don't know where that came from, but whatever, I'm here. Um, there's the doctor's table, centrifuge, all that great stuff. I verify my donor once already. When the doctor comes in, I guess I'll be verifying it again. Hopefully I can remember the donor, donor number. I make it a practice not to f memorize numbers and things like that. But I guess this one is pretty important, so I should memorize it. Mm. Okay, so, um, maybe I'll get another souvenir, uh, today. We'll see. Um, but, um, I mean, it's definitely a doctor's office, right? Pretty bare room. I'm in here by myself for now. But, um, I'm just waiting for the doctor now. Mm, about to meet, have this date with my donor again. Yay mm -mm 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 -mm. to insemination day. Alright, well, talk to you a little bit later. Okay, now it's after the insemination. I got my souvenir. That's my donor valve. And I get to wait and relax for about 20 minutes. And uh, hope uh, the little swimmers do their thing. Now, I, my donor has some good samples. 58 million swimmers this time around. It was 51 million the last time. And about, just about 50% motility, so a little less of them swimming faster, but um, the numbers are great. Um, from what I understand, anything over 10 is great. So 58 is great. Can't be more happy with that. <clears throat> My procedure this time was a lot more comfortable. Um, I had a lot less uh, discomfort. 
I want to say that probably has something to do with the fact that I am ovulating at the time. I really do believe that um, I did ovulate. I didn't have any cervical mucus before. I talked earlier in the day about not having any. But um, when I went to the bathroom, um, I did um, have some egg white um, mucus. So I think that helped. Um, I think the fact that the mucus is there makes the cervix a little bit more pliable, a little soft. Um, he did go for a shorter speculum. Um, so I guess that means my cervix is a little lower as well. Um, so hopefully that's aiding in this process too. So, all right. Much more comfortable experience. Um, higher sperm count, a little less on the motility, but higher sperm count. They don't have that far to go. Um, I'm hoping that the egg is already released and that they swim there and they find it. So this is totally... So, sorry, ran out of space on my SD card. I guess I need to move some pictures and videos off. But yeah, so, um, as I was saying before, this is a different situation than last time where, um, I had the insemination and I ovulated later. This time, I appear to have ovulated earlier today and I'm getting the insemination is within the 24 hours um, by far. I think it's like within a 12 hour mark. So my little swimmers have 12 hours to find that egg and fertilize, fertilize, fertilize. My lining is good this time around. So hopefully I can get some implantation and we'll see if this cycle goes any different than last. So I'm gonna pay close attention to um, my, uh, my symptoms um, now that I have I know what to expect, so if anything different comes up, then maybe it's different. So, I probably won't test, um, so, until like day 10 after IUI, so, um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, so, I will, um, check in again, because the next stop from here is acupuncture again, what do you know? <laughs> so, I'll check in again there, and, uh, see you guys in a bit. Hey folks, I'm here again. This time a much darker room. I've got, I don't know if you can see, but I've got like this little needle in my forehead here. Right? Can you see that? I don't really want to mess with it. She put a bunch in my ears too. I think these are short. I don't know that you're going to see them. Um, maybe I can get some more light in here. I don't know if I can. Let's see. Nope. Nope. I can't make it any lighter in here. So we're stuck with this dark room. But more needles. Got one in my hand. You can see. I'll wave it around a bit. <laughs> one in his hand too. Can you see? There it is. And then I've got the one in my forehead. Which you can kind of see. There's one, she's put that one on the top of my head here, right here, which maybe you can see, can you see that? And then I've got a few more in the belly. Stark. I've got two, there's one here, there's one here, some more in the leg. I think I got three in each ear. I oh, don't know. These are short. You can't really see. But this is the last acupuncture session for the day. And then I get to go home and relax. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is how I get to finish up my insemination day. And um, then I get to relax. Spend the rest of the evening on my back. Because that is the acupuncture orders. To spend as much time on my back as I possibly can. No cold, no hot. So just try to keep everything room temperature. Um, I tried to get into the massage chair before I came in here. She booed me off of that. No massage, no massage. Don't know why that is, but no massage. So I am going to take some time, try to relax here. And um, maybe uh, if I have anything eventful to say, I'll come in 
and uh, say hello to you guys again one more time before I end the day. But this has been my insemination day. And um, until next time, I'll let you guys know if I get any weird symptoms or anything like that. So, all right. Talk to you in a few or in a few days. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye.